This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm glad you're back. And I hope you enjoyed part A of what we did for our study on the 26th of January. And the point I wanted to point out to you is this. When we looked at, as we went into part A, where we were using David and the Goliath's uh, event uh, and the characters in that particular uh, passage in Samuel 17, uh, one of the things that we picked up from the, the last uh, part A was the fact is that uh, the children of Israel uh, was afraid of the Philistines and the children of Israel were considered by the enemy as servants of Saul opposed to servants of God and to me that's where the enemy gets his boldness when he recognized who we serve or what foundation we stand on this is very important as, as, as a believer to, to stand on the foundation of Jesus Christ. Uh, because if you stand on any other foundation, you will find out that it is basically crumbling sand and it won't be able to really endure the storms that, that comes in our life. Uh, and then also we find out that in, the, in those scriptures is that uh, people who even are close to you when you speak faith when you you speak a vision or a goal that god has given you and even those great challenges that comes with it sometimes those people are more discouraging of you uh, to move forward than to encouraging you and then when we talk about sometimes even our religious leaders or people we consider leaders in our life will also at times, matter of fact, a lot of times, we'll be the first to sit there and say, you can't do that. that that's, just, that's just too much. You can't do that. So when we sit there in, in, in the foundation of Scripture of Philippians 3.10 that said that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection, the power of what I'm focusing on is that knowing Him gives me power to take on the challenges that occurs in my life and in your life. That's the benefits of being a Christian. You know, we, we talked about that in Psalms 103, verse 2, that I may, they said that, bless the Lord on my soul and forget not all his benefits. There's benefits of being a Christian. And, that, and I definitely want to make sure we get to that point of understanding. It's about knowing that there are benefits that comes along with being a believer. We don't have to walk in defeat. We don't have to walk alone. We don't have to depend on our own ability. We don't have to depend on our, our color of our skin or anything else. We just need to know Him and His power to operate in our life. And that's why we're using the story of David and Goliath so that when you read it, you'll see the difference between someone who knows God and the people who stand on the wrong foundation. Like I said, the, the children of Israel, the servants of Saul at that time, were dismayed and afraid of Goliath because they were trusting in their own ability, not in God. But when a believer showed up and said, hey, look, no, I come in the name of the Lord, now you have a different reaction toward the situation. And on top of that is that knowing God, David knowing God, when he when he heard what Goliath was saying, he responded different from the rest of them. He responded and said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that's challenging or defying the, uh, the children of Israel, the army of Israel? Don't they know that that stroke is uncircumcised? But they all knew for 40 days. They heard it, but they never responded that way. But when someone who knew God heard it for the first time, responded differently. And so because David knew, knew God, and David set his affection toward the things of God. Let me read this uh, scripture right here. This is in Colossians 3.1. And it said, if ye, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Set your affection on the things above, not on things on the earth. David's affection 
was set above toward heaven, toward the things of God. And his affection is another uh, reason that when he heard the Goliaths defy, defy God, or defy the army of the living God, he was almost responding as when somebody would say, you talking about my mom? Are you serious? He talking about my mom. Oh, no, no. You know, like, hey, with the ladies, uh, that, that's time to, time to take, off the, <laughs> take off the earrings here. Or with the brothers, like, hey, hey hold, hold my beer because it's getting ready to get real and get serious. That's what David was saying. David said, is you talking about my God? You talking about the people who serve my God? And you're trying to tell us that your champion can beat someone that's in covenant with God. And David showed him, not in this house. Not in this house. And that's how I want us to get to that point too. When we get to a point where we are so set our affection and our conviction toward the things of God, that we can walk in victory. And walk in victory not because of our own benefit, because of Him. Because of love for Him. And guess what? He loved us first. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And please keep coming back. And also don't forget to subscribe. You know, I, you know, subscribing really helps out. Uh, and, and gives us a, a appreciation. Or let us know those who appreciate, appreciate in our videos. So anyway, I'll see you next time. And uh, you have a blessed day. God bless. Bye-bye. Well, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that's, uh, that's important. Yes, sir. Jim was talking earlier about basically uh, peer pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But 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 I, I, when, when you when you when you kind of zoom in on this thing, when you when you have your own personal conviction. When, when there's a certain degree of intimacy that has been born out of a relationship through experience. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. You see, Ooh. I am convinced that David had found in God what Ooh. he didn't find in Saul. Okay. Or Samuel. Uh -huh. Or his brothers. Come on. Or his dad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, David had found acceptance with God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I there with them sheep. Come on, okay. And see, what we're realizing that all of us are yearning for accepting. Uh -huh. That's why peer pressure is effective. Come on. See, if, if, if you buy into what they're selling, yes, you sir. get acceptance. Exactly. You <laughs> And we yeah. need acceptance. But see, David had found acceptance from God, and he had found that that acceptance far transcends. Any other acceptance you can get. Yes, sir. So, so now he, he got his own relationship, and God now has been being exalted in David's eye. And, and, and because whatever is accepted, you'll find that love ain't far from that. Come on, come on. Uh, David going to cap God and captured David's heart. Right. David now is drawn into a deep relationship of love with God. Uh, he go out there and hit each other right in their mouth. Right. About the one he loved, right. about the one that granted him his step, about the one that has embraced him. Yes, he said, no, 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 no. You can talk about anything else. You, you might get away from talking about my mom. But God, you don't mess up. David is, yes, David is asking, he really concerned about what he's going to get. David, there's a, there's a fierce anger that has rolled Come on, man. Come on. I will kill that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Well, see, once, once God goes to deal with you, you stop looking at physical stuff. Come on, come on, Josh, come on. That joke could have been the size of a skyscraper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to kill you. So, how do we get to the place? Yes, sir. That's the point. You see, how do we understand this? You know, David's a character in scene 17, act 5. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, but, but to see the, the play in the end there. Uh huh. They set up the fronts. Yeah. They set up the front for 2020. Yeah. And now that we got some more characters that need to come onto the scene. Right. And have a part of the play. Yeah. See, see, what I love about scripture is that those men played their role in this grand, this, this grand, long running play. Come on. But we're on the stage now. Yes, sir. We're on the stage. You see, we are privileged to see what God did. Well, that character came on stage right. with an intimate relationship and how God was able by his spirit to cause him to be able to gain victory. Yes, sir. But now, I, now I'm on the stage. Exactly. And it doesn't do me no good to be on the stage having knowledge of the great cloud of folk that come on before. Come on. And then we would have been scared. Just like, you know, I don't know what's going on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know how it's going to work out. <laughs> you do know how it's going to work out. Oh, you do know how it's going to work out. Well, to me, it, the, the big difference then and now. Yes, sir. What? What? Is David. Come on now. Had a knowledge of God. Yes, sir. He knew. He, he, right. he had an intimate yes, sir. knowledge of God. Right. You know, Ephesians talk about the spirit of revelation and knowledge. Of knowledge. That yes, you may know God uh -huh. through the knowledge of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And Jesus Christ. Right. So that revelation Come on. only comes. Through the knowledge of God in an intimate way. Yes, sir. So that you get the revelations of who you are. Yes. In Christ. In Christ Jesus. And until we get to that point, like David had that intimate knowledge. Yes, sir. So this 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 physical realm right. of 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 uh life's battles come on had no bearing i mean he right. just was an overcomer yes sir in every battle that he had yes sir that he went to this point come it's on. just another stepping stone it's, it's a first relation so, so, and, and that's what philippians said right there i may know him yes and that's what we want to talk about the, the believers got to know him go ahead so now you move from peer pressure Woo. To God pressure. To God pressure. Yeah. Come on. Now, come on. Uh, the crowd moving you. Come on. Because you're trying to find something. Well, see, the thing is, it's basically, it's, the bottom line is love. It's yeah. love. It's love. Yes, sir. Yes. Man, you will step yes, sir. in front of a loved one mm, mm. who is being threatened. Come on. Come on. It won't even. It, it won't think twice. Take a bullet. Come die. On. Come on. Give your last dollar. Come on. We'll climb mountains. Mm. Swim oceans. Yes, sir. We'll do whatever to your last. Yes, sir. For love's sake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you can't get that without an intimate knowledge mm. of that person. Of that person. And, and then when somebody says something about a loved one, it stirs something up in you. Say what you say. Yeah. Yeah, and you see that thing is intended, and we, I think we miss it because we in this Americanized culture. Mm -hmm. But that thing I believe is intended to be evidence when you when you are brought to the place where, where that love for God has has has, has grown so deep mm. and so profound and has such deep roots. Yes, sir. Until until it becomes sacrificial. It's coming. <laughs> it, it, it becomes <laughs> that you're willing. And this is what he this is what he get there. Right. It's no. It's it's that the man love me more than father. That's what he said. Come on, Jesus yeah. said in Luke 14. Yeah. If you don't love me more than father, mother, sister, brother, yeah, even your own life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Come now, on. I don't understand that, man. You you can't be my son. What I'm calling for is the absolute sacrifice of all, but he that loses his life. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Say it. <laughs> he that loses his life for my sake ain't going to lose nothing. Because even that was talking about benefits. Yes, sir. 
So why is it that even inside of the church now, why do we still walk around with the fear of losing? When it's it, not an option. It is a fear. See, all we're going to worry about is we're going to lose something. Right, right. We're going to lose something. And he already told you, look, look. I, I, I jacked this whole little plan up like this so it'll, it'll, it'll booby trap all the, all the spectators. Yes, sir. Jesus told him in, in Acts chapter 1, mm -hmm. ye shall be my witnesses. Yes. Yes. I looked at the word witnesses. Do you know that word witnesses has this root? And ye shall be my martyrs? Mm, no. No. You, you Woo. shall be my martyrs. There's a fellowship of suffering again in Philippians 3.10. They're they, they going to they know you really ain't. you got a real relationship with me. Woo. When they see you die. Yeah, stand up. The Peter who lied and cursed and said he didn't know me. Come on. After the Spirit of God fell upon him, ain't no more lying. Ain't no more Woo. death. Oh, what killed me? Uh -huh. Listen, uh -huh. I ain't even worthy to die like he died. Uh -huh. A humility that is that, that, that mind about Woo. This flipped me upside down because uh -huh. I... He, God, Christ has been so exalted in his life. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So I ain't worthy to die right here. Woo! Tell my Pete. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so why are we still dancing on the skirts of this thing? Or why is he still in 2020? Why are we willing? It's not God. It, it, it's not the God of David. The God of a kiss come and on, Addison come and Taylor come on. Yeah. and Justin. Oh, is that is that that's gold there? Come on, come on, come on. You see, I met the peer pressure because I think peer pressure it really is supposed to exist. It all depends on who who who's the source of who got the influence in the group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. See, see, all peer pressure is about his influence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you were if the Saul is your leader, <laughs> he said, Sir, say, servant of Saul. If, if Saul is your leader, and the influence in Florida down through Saul and pervades the whole community, Woo! you have a problem. Oh! That's why God, that's why God is looking at David. I want, I want to get David in the chair. <laughs> so I put David in the chair. Whoa! I will have the influence. Come on! David go all of you look at me. And Saul is going to be looking at the giants and looking at the Philistines and looking at all the other things. But David is going to be looking at me. Wow! That's and a big so difference. That will allow God to use the leader yes, to begin to cause a kind of pressure not to provoke men to godliness, mm. men to courage, men to sacrifice, yes, sir. men to take their rightful place and recognize that we are here, not for ourselves, mm -hmm. we are here for God. Oh, no. Discard that, right? Because that other was servants of Saul. Mm -hmm. even, the, even, look, look, even the enemy yeah. recognized. Who you were serving up? Yeah, y'all serve Saul. Y'all look at this shit. Did you get right? You can't say it's not. It really is one, too. Now, I know y'all got the big head because in a few chapters back, Jonathan went over there and did some stuff and they got a victory. Yeah. But Jonathan got the victory because he was looking at that door. Woo! Woo! So, D, guess that. That I may know, we we still use the foundation of Philippians three ten. That I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of the suffering, which what Ben was talking about the fact that Jesus said that He used those people to be a witness. He said that translates also be a martyr. You see, not only do we shun suffering, mm. Mm. we fail to understand what suffering is from God's perspective. Okay, come on, come on, brother. Tell me. Devote? Come. See, in the flesh, when you look at suffering in the flesh, yes, God is extending you an invitation Woo. to move deeper in your relationship with Him. Woo. But in the flesh, uh -huh. you see it as a threat mm. to you to lose something. Because you it really is born out of your perversion. Of who God is and what God is doing when the threat comes. Mm. Mm. I, mm. We're born carnal creatures. Yeah. And then we're born again. We got minds being renewed. There's this learning curve. Yes, sir. And I think that's what we, we, we observe a lot. Uh, except nobody up to this point had been actually explaining where we're headed. Yes, sir. So we had no vision. 
or what we want to become. Right. So we got stuck in cardinality even after being born again. Deep. So I don't know. Deep. I mean, I'm going to say as an example. I don't know what success is aside from my flesh. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And that's we were taught that we were taught we were not given a vision of what success looks like in the spirit. Mm -hmm. We really weren't. Okay. And so we we employed cardinal well spiritual means to obtain cardinal successes. We think like getting a better car, a better job, a better house, a better marriage, a better this, a better that was actually uh, manifestations of blessings of God. We were taught that. We were taught that. We were literally indoctrinated. And it's still being taught. Yeah. And if you go in and teach stuff like what we're saying now, you definitely will be that one that just <laughs> say all the levels of hell are hard saying. Yeah. You know, because what you're saying literally is that saying. You, see, you must eat my flesh and drink my blood. It's to that level. <laughs> and that was a hard saying for that man because now you're talking about going out of my yeah. yeah, you're trying so, to destroy the flesh. So he was, he's, he's, he's the plane God had started that kindergarten, first grade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the disciple. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start you off with dying and sacrificing at the baby level. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a baby level dying stuff. <laughs> yeah. Let me get dying stuff. <laughs> Somebody on your job, Mr. Field. Whoa! Die. 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 You get old looked at the promotion that you know you're all the guy. Come on. Die. Die. Woo! Your wife say something and hurt your feelings because she misunderstood your intent. Woo. And your, your intention was the, that's the opposite of what she thought, but she just misunderstood. Mm. And something rises up on the inside, God said, die. die. If you get enough experience in dying, Woo. then when the real issue come, mm -hmm. Your resume qualifies you. He'll call you something again. Have you considered my servant Joe? Come on. Have <laughs> <laughs> you considered? Yes, sir. <laughs> he, he overlooked all the other folks. I got one out there that, that has some practice with this thing. Yes, sir. And because we get no practice in dying, when matters of the utmost important arise concerning God, uh -huh. and that's what you see with everybody else out there. Yes, sir. They ain't got no experience. Uh -huh. go. Mm. And so they can't all of a sudden jump up now and become fearless and sacrificial. Cause they ain't got no history with it. Right. Come on. All they can do is, 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 is worship and serve God out of what they know. No. So. Deep. They know Saul. They know Saul's relationship. Yes, sir. Oh no, no, you don't say that now. Whoa. They know Saul. That's, Whoa. that's the model that they say. Whoa. Oh God. And Saul cowered down. That's the leadership that been said before. And so in today's society. People told me. We see pastors, yes, sir, and people are looking at them and their relationship with Whoa. God. Whoa! Now, though they may have, yes, sir, yes, sir, just like these people of mm. Israel, mm -hmm. they did not have what Saul had, mm. Mm. but Saul offered it to them for his benefit, mm. just like <laughs> it's being offered, you know, homes and better homes. Yes, jobs sir. and better jobs. Yes, sir. Benefits and bonuses, right? <laughs> well, when you were so, when you were Saul, Saul was the one that, that when God told him to kill everything, yeah. and, he he and he said, and he even said the people mm. maybe do it. Yeah. <laughs> he knew that. Listen, let's talk to Stan. Let's talk to tell Stan. Who are the king like all the other Sauls around? They see it? For that kind of king. Now, God wants them to have a king. They didn't realize that. He told Abraham that out of your boy, go come king. But what God is trying to tell you, but I don't want you to have a king like that. Ooh. Because what you don't realize is, is that in the consummation, there is going to be a king. Yeah. Yeah. But not like. Yeah, not like. What's God going to take? He's going to give. I'm going to bring forth. You're going to see a king that you've never seen before. Yes, sir. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He did. Right. Good yeah. Lord. You, you know, if I can say this, the sacrifice that the Lord requires of us don't always look like a loss. Not even in a carnal perspective. Because the sacrifice is literally saying, your will and not mine. Mm -hmm. So the Lord can elevate a person. Mm -hmm. and, and, and even in accordance with what the world system would look like, 
But it seems as though they're gaining power, so they've been gaining influence, and we always have influence. But we look even from a cardinal perspective, it's gaining influence. But it wouldn't be that person's influence. Yeah. It would be God Peter influenced the lives of five of was it five thousand when he preached that sermon. Mm -hmm. Paul lived in opulence from time to time. You know, he said you knew how to both feel based on violence, and I know that yeah, out of context. Yeah, said, yeah. But it wasn't that he was always under somebody's foot. Right. When they talked about him having his own apartment, even when he was locked up or constrained, mm -hmm. and he visited the people visited for a couple of years. So, so there are places of influence as the world matter. I mean, measure influence. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go. Uh, oh man! man. <laughs> you 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 up enough seed there. Woo! There's Jimmy Hill. Is that done? It was, it was all because of his influence. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think he dropped it. Put the punch out now, man. <laughs> but there, there, there's a, a this is a great That's my point. Uh, story. Come on. Because it really exposes the types and shadows Come on. of the Old Testament. Yes. For the that's, new. That's what I'm trying to say. Let me tell you something. Yeah. This is fire right That's here. what I'm trying to say. This is fire because... I mean, it, it, you literally are set apart. Everything in this, this it, it just correlates. I mean, when they were talking about... Uh, uh, Before I go back. Be Bethlehem. Yeah. Uh, Judah. Judah. Yes, sir. Where was Christ born in? in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. I'm talking, there's just so many correlations. Yes, sir. In this. In the tribe of Judah. But you know another thing. When we were yes, talking sir. about how the enemy was on the mountain. Right. And the, the, the children of God was on the mountain. Yes, sir. They never had to go down to that valley. Come on, now. Why did they have to go down to the valley to fight? Them? Come on. They could have stayed up. <laughs> Whoever has a high ground. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But see, the enemy, the enemy, right. The enemy the high ground. ground. That's more strategically valuable. They should have stayed there. They didn't have to go down there. That's the problem. How tall the Goliath look when they were up there? He didn't look that tall. When he's on it, when it, yeah. He's always gonna be beneath them if they stay on that mountain. Wow. We ain't gotta go down in the valley to fight you. Yes, guys. sir. Yes, sir. I mean, look, look. God, if your mind says God, God did on. not want them Come down on. there in, in that, that valley. So, so what we're saying is that it. we don't have to resort to the flesh. You know what I'm saying? We're the big group. We stay spiritual. Yes, sir. Stay on the mountain. Stay on the mountain. And I think that's all we look. They ever try to call you come off of the mountain. Yeah. Come to. What do you say? Remember saying the Bible would say that he's he's above all principalities yeah. and heavenly places. Every name that is named. Come on, in this man. world, huh? And, and huh? in the world to come. And so 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 what the enemy does is want to bring you bring down. You down. He he's calling you. He's pulling you into this physical realm. Yes, sir. But you stay in that, uh -huh. that spiritual realm with God, the knowledge of God. Woo! And of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Will give you uh -huh. the victory. Come on now. It's not Myron getting the victory. <laughs> As long as my eyes are set on Christ, I will not sink. Yes, sir. You know what? It's not you getting the victory at all. It's Jesus getting the victory. Yes, sir. It is. It's him being glorified. You know what? Check this out. I'm riding in. Your opportunity to be glorified. And you, and you yeah. know the, the uh, Sister Parker. Pastor Parker. Right. You know. Definitely. Yeah. Now, she, she was on the radio, and I'm listening to her. And she was talking about the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. And, uh... She was talking about how we use that name. How uh -huh. we've been given privilege <laughs> to use that name. Come on, how we should be using that name and how nobody's using that name. Then she went in talking about how, you know, there's people that we know. Yes, sir. That say, use my name to get this job. Mm. He said, there's, there's some authority by using people's names. Mm -hmm. But she said, but this name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you believe, uh -huh. then you will be able to get some resources. Come on. But now, the thing that I, 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 and I, I had I brought her name up, but the one thing that I tended to disagree, she was like, you got to call him to be a part of this, this I think that, that, that we call him to be here. Yes, sir. No, when I got here, 
he got here. He got here. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then that began to, to, to make me think about some things that I'm that I'm saying. And even when I'm praying yes, sir. that, you know, God, I, I don't I don't expect you to come here. Right. I thank you that you are here. <laughs> and that you were with me when I got here. Yes, sir. And my prayer is that though my mind is on you. Yes. I may only have a certain capacity of the fullness of the mind that I have yes. based on science. Yes, sir. But when two or three are gathered, yeah, come on, how man. much more uh, of a corporate uh, yes. mind yes, is available yes, sir. Uh -huh. to bring in? When two or three are gathered, that's where that made something. Yes, sir. That's what you came and came and made something. Yes, sir. Me. So I thank God for that corporate mm. anointing yes. and that corporate a, a mindset that we're able to extrapolate mm -hmm. the hidden mystery yes, yes, of the sir. gospel of Jesus Christ, yes, sir. of this, this, of, of the hidden <laughs> mysteries in the old, and bring them out to the new. Yeah, that this corporate thing mm -hmm. is is great because I always would think, you know, well, God, why I gotta pray for something better than I, when I'm with a group, yes, sir, than when I'm not. Come on, well, it's not. It's the same as God. It's the same. But now I have an understanding of that. Now. Yes, sir. We have a bigger mind capacity uh -huh, uh -huh. to 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 pull and extrapolate and to streamline and get this stuff more down that that narrow road. Yes, right. right. That we're not weaving down the road. That we're going down the road. Yes, sir. corporate yes, sir. understanding. And there's things that God puts in you, and in you, and in me, and in them. Yeah. That when it comes together, that understanding is magnified. Yes, sir. That that.